Hey guys, I just wanted to do a, a little video on stuff I carry in my install kit that I would consider kind of non-standard items. Uh, some, if not all of this, may be stuff that you are already carrying with your install stuff. Um, but if there's some or all of this that you're not carrying, it's uh, not necessarily essential, but it definitely makes a life a lot easier, and I would consider looking into it. So this first item, I'm sure probably most of you are carrying this, because it's a pretty common tool now, but if you're not, go out and get one. Um, this is just a real cheap one from Harbor Freight. Uh, we've had this dude since... 2012 I guess and we still haven't been able to kill it uh, You got to trim wood sheetrock anything like that These vibro tools make really short work of it um, These blades it's real easy to spend a fortune on these blades, but you can sharpen them uh, Put them in a vise and then just run a triangle file on the top and you can cut new teeth into the blade and uh, breathe some new life into it Big thing to remember, um, this thing's just oscillating back and forth at a really high speed. So it's not like a circular saw where that blade's turning and throwing those chips out. This does not clear chips very well, so it heats up really quickly. And when the metal gets hot, it loses its integrity, and then the teeth get dull, and now your blade is suboptimally operating. Um, the thing to do is treat this like it's a handsaw. You want to keep this guy moving in whatever you're cutting as much as possible, and that'll keep the chips cleared, and it'll keep the temperature down, and your blade will stay sharper longer. So this next thing, I'm also pretty sure that most of you are carrying. It's just 40 grit sandpaper. Um, what I use this for more than anything else is if there's a high spot in the cabinet. This dude on a uh, Velcro backer head on your variable speed grinder will remove a lot of wood really quickly with a pretty clean finish and not a whole lot of blowout. So you're not going to mess up the cabinet face or anything. But it's just a really fast way to take down some uh, unruly cabinets to get your tops to sit where they should be sitting. And while we're on the subject of woodworking, a good sharp sh set of wood chisels is just really, really handy to have. Uh, if you're not familiar with wood chisels or how to use them, oop, this is the bottom. Uh, your gut wants to say this is the bottom because it's flat, but the only thing you can do with that side is cut down. You turn it this way, you can use the point on that angle as a fulcrum. So you can either cut down or cut up. And it gives you a lot more control on what yeah, that dude definitely needs to be sharpened. A lot more control on the cuts you're trying to make rather than just digging in. And this stuff is called backer rod or foam rope. Every once in a while, you run across a situation where you have a gap that needs to be caulked. And, you know, if it's a really wide gap, you're just going to wind up dumping a whole tube of caulk into it. This will fill that gap so then you can caulk on top of it. Um, if you're using this on every single job, then you have a templating issue. But on those rare instances where you find out you need it, it's just something that's way too cheap and easy to have around to not have it when you do need it. I absolutely hate it when a job comes to a screeching halt and you're waiting on someone else, um, such as when you're pulling out an old faucet and you find out you have a leaky angle stop. Teflon tape, 3 8 inch compression cap, you can slap that dude on, stop the leak, and continue on with your day. Usually you'll get the install finished before the plumber can even think about showing up to fix the leak. So it, you know, just a huge time saver for really everyone. This next item is a Dremel tool. 
Uh, I feel like we all know what a Dremel tool is. Um, but I just, you know, I've worked with several crews that don't carry a Dremel tool with them. I carry a Dremel tool with me. No, I don't use it all the time, but when I do need it, I'm really, really glad that I have it in the truck. So it's, I feel like it kind of gets an honorable mention for this video. And lastly, we have PolySil. Uh, this is made by Colorite, actually here in Oklahoma. Um, it is silicone with polymers suspended in the silicone. This particular tube is Santa Cecilia. This stuff isn't really cheap, but for what it does, you really, you can't beat it. I'll pull out a chunk so you can see. So you can see it's clear silicone and it just has little pieces of, you know, colored grit. I think it's ground up uh, shavings from the solid surface countertop production. But, uh, Anyway, you cock and backsplash with this and the joints will essentially disappear. Um, you know, I'm not paid by PolySil or anything. I don't think they even know I exist, but this stuff really is awesome. It's worth buying a tube and trying it out. They have a whole bunch of different colors. Um, again, just a really, really handy thing. Um, it definitely kind of puts that extra little touch on an install to kind of knock it out of the park. Uh, anyway, I just felt that these tools were uh, worth making a little video about. Um, you know, if there's one person sees one thing in this and they add it to their install stuff and it improves their quality of life, then, you know, in my opinion, this whole thing's worth it. Uh, if there's an install tool that you use that you don't feel like a lot of other people use and we're missing out because we're not using it, uh, you know, mention something down below me in the comments. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you know some other installers or people in the stone industry in general, uh, you know, share this video with them. Uh, trying to do these about once a month or so. So if you want to keep updated on when I have a new video coming out, feel free to subscribe. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.